Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I am bringing you a Forzathon guide for this week's Forzathon called Carte Blanche um, which wants you to own and drive any off-road vehicle of your choice uh, and there are some nice easy challenges in this one so without further ado let's get stuck in. So obviously you want to pick yourself an off-road vehicle now there is a lot to pick from uh, depending on how big your garage is I guess um, from Ford F-150s to Range Rovers and Land Rovers Dodge Rams, Mercedes, you name it, but I decided to go a bit weird and have a bit of fun with the 1976 Jeep Renegade. Now I decided to have more fun with it by tuning it to 1300 brake horsepower and of course it weighs less than 2 tonnes so it is ridiculously quick and absolutely mental, um, but you got to have a bit of fun with these Forzathons. Now the first challenge wants you to win 3 cross country circuit events. Um, not circuit but just series events even uh, so if you go to the Ambleside Rush cross country race um, you will see that I've created a race for you guys to use so when you go under solo mode obviously under custom events if you hit the back button which is search um, and then type in this share code which is 622-388-275 it will come up with this race that I've created called quick and easy win which is very very short uh, and sweet and um, to do three of them will only take you about two minutes depending on obviously loading times now i normally do this for you guys for falls of thons like this uh, where i just send the ai off and you can just stroll over to the finish line uh, and as you can see here like i said <laughs> this tune is quite mental um, but what's life without a bit of whimsy you know you've got to have a bit of fun in these falls of thons because otherwise they just drag a bit but like you can see there all you have to do is win that race three times over and you'll have that first challenge complete nice and easy now the next one wants you to earn a wrecking ball skill now a wrecking ball skill is getting three wreckage skills in quick succession within the same chain uh, so it's actually easier than you think uh, but what I first of all recommend doing is getting all of these perks depending on what car you're using obviously uh, especially the extra life one because you will be smashed into a lot of things um, and you might need it and then I definitely recommend heading over to the Greendale airstrip as there is a ton of stuff to smash into whether it's fences or road signs, tires, poles, cones, you name it you can smash into it and get your wreckage skills uh, and also this will come in handy uh, for the next challenge but I'll explain that in a minute uh, so as you can see here all I'm showing you is clips of trying to get the wrecking ball skill now like I said it's just three wreckage skills in quick succession uh, and at this airport because there's so much stuff to smash into it's not too difficult to get the wrecking ball skill um, it's actually fairly easy but what I recommend is just keep smashing into stuff until you get it basically uh, and it will be nice and easy now also I recommend when you've got it to keep your chain going do not stop and that is because this third challenge wants you to get a total of 750,000 skill score so obviously while you're keep trying to earn your wrecking ball skill you're going to be racking up points and it will go towards your third challenge because obviously when you get the wrecking ball skill you're automatically enrolled onto the third challenge and you're halfway there basically by completing the second one so it's definitely a good time saving thing to stay at the Greendale airstrip and get your wrecking ball skill there unless you're already somewhere else where the ton of stuff is um, and you sort of drive over to the airstrip for this third challenge but getting 750,000 skill score is actually fairly easy uh, and obviously this is why I said to use all of your perks and skill points because it will aid you in this getting you extra points for certain things like drifting or air skills uh, now in order to get 750,000 points in one run you need to get a multiplier of 5 and have to get 150,000 skill points obviously then time by that multiplier uh, unless you've got a skill song on then it's even less but you do not have to get them all in one go just like last week's challenge with a million points uh, in a GT car you can do this over the course of a week or a weekend or you can just do it in sort of 20 minutes it's entirely down to yourself and you can use whichever off-road car you want like I said it doesn't really matter um, but all you have to do is just keep driving around until you get either 150,000 times 5 um, or whatever it is in the Forza Thon song uh, the skill song so that's times 10 um, so 75,000 nice and easy there uh, so I hope that this helped you guys out obviously I'm sure you're all experts by now and probably don't need me to be making these videos but if anyone needs my help, that's why I'm here, to try and help you out as best as I can. But apart from that, guys, I want to say a massive thank you. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. All the best, guys, and take care.